This video was recorded five years ago. However, in only such a short amount of time, it is really unbelievable how much everything has changed. In an astonishing leap into the future, Japan has unveiled a new breed of robots that are not just lifelike, but are reportedly capable of getting pregnant. Yes, you heard that right. These robots, almost indistinguishable from real women, are pushing the boundaries of technology and challenging our very understanding of life. Welcome to a world where the line between human and machine is becoming increasingly blurred and where the impossible becomes possible. The Japanese robotics industry is a global leader with a history that dates back to the 1950s. Over the years, Japan has made significant strides in robotics, earning a reputation as one of the most innovative countries in the field. The country's fascination with robots is deeply rooted in its culture, with robots often being portrayed positively in Japanese literature, movies, and animations. The culture acceptance of robots has undoubtedly played a significant role in the country's advancements in robotics. The industry has seen a wide range of robots, from industrial robots used in manufacturing to service robots used in healthcare and hospitality. Japan's robotics industry is also known for its humanoid robots, which are designed to resemble and behave like humans. These robots have been used in a variety of settings, from assisting the elderly to performing tasks in environments that are dangerous for humans. One of the most notable examples of Japan's humanoid robots is Honda's ASIMO, which was introduced in 2000. ASIMO, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, was designed to operate in real-world environments with the ability to walk, run, climb stairs, and even recognize faces and voices. ASIMO's development represented a significant step forward in the field of humanoid robotics. More recently, Japan has been making headlines in the development of female robots that are capable of getting pregnant. These robots, referred to as bio-robots, are designed to mimic human behavior and emotions as closely as possible. They can move their hands and bodies with the same fluidity as humans, and mimic facial expressions. Thanks to advanced AI technology, these robots learn and adapt from their interactions with humans, continually improving their understanding of human behavior and emotions. This level of realism in robotics is unprecedented and is a testament to the technological prowess of Japan's robotic industry. It's a glimpse into the future where robots could become an integral part of our daily lives, not just as tools, but as companions. This is a significant step forward in the field of AI, as it brings us closer to creating machines that can truly understand and mimic human behavior. But the truly groundbreaking feature of these robots is their reported ability to get pregnant. While this hasn't been tested yet and raises a host of ethical questions, it's theoretically possible given that the robot's insides are designed to mimic those of a real person. This concept of robots being able to reproduce is groundbreaking and could revolutionize the field of robotics. It opens up a world of possibilities, from creating robots that can carry out tasks that are currently impossible for machines to potentially solving problems related to population decline and labor shortage. The striking physical likeness of these robots to actual women is also nothing short of extraordinary. They are enveloped in a material known as silica gel, which closely mimics the feel of human skin. This material not only gives them a realistic touch, but also allows them to maintain a warmth similar to that of a human body. This degree of realism in robotics is unparalleled and is a testament to the technological prowess of Japan's robotics industry. The customization options available for these robots are equally impressive. Users have the freedom to tailor the robot to their liking, from their height and body shape to finer details such as hair and eye color. This level of personalization is a significant advancement in the field of robotics, allowing users to create a robot that aligns with their specific needs and preferences. This makes robots more than just machines. They become personalized companions. The customization of robots is not a new concept. For instance, companies like Roboto AI and Polymath Robotics have been working on customizable robots for various applications. Roboto AI focuses on analyzing multimodal sensors and log data for robots, while Polymath Robotics works on adding autonomy to large industrial vehicles. However, the level of customization offered by the Japanese female robots is unique in its focus on personal companionship and emotional connection.
These robots are also designed to integrate seamlessly into the user's daily life. They can connect to various electronic appliances and can be controlled remotely to perform tasks like washing clothes or cleaning the house. This functionality is reminiscent of the capabilities of AI tools like Rob, Robot of Business, and Anybot, which are designed to automate tasks and improve efficiency. The ability of these robots to perform household chores is a significant advancement in the field of robotics. It not only makes these robots useful companions, but also has the potential to significantly improve the quality of life of their users. By taking over mundane tasks, these robots free up time for their users to engage in more meaningful activities. The creation of these machines was initially driven by the desire to address the gender imbalance in Japan, where there are more men than women. They're also intended to meet the physical and psychological needs of people who may struggle to find a partner, such as the otaku community, people who are passionate about anime, manga, video games, and computers, and who often have smaller social circles. These robots, with their ability to provide companionship and emotional support, could potentially help alleviate feelings of loneliness and isolation within this community. The response to these robots has been overwhelmingly positive. They sold out just days after their release, indicating a strong demand and acceptance among the public. They've been particularly popular with men who spend most of their time indoors. Some users even reported that they no longer feel the need for a human girlfriend after experiencing the companionship of these robots. This phenomenon raises interesting questions about the nature of human-robot relationships. As robots become more advanced and human-like, it's possible that they could become viable alternatives to human companionship. This could have a significant impact for society, affecting everything from our social structures to our mental health. It also raises questions about the nature of love and companionship. Can a relationship with a robot ever be as fulfilling as a relationship with a human? These are questions that society will need to grapple with as robots become an increasingly common part of our lives. In addition to their potential as companions, these robots also have practical applications. Their ability to connect to various electronic appliances and perform tasks like washing clothes or cleaning the house could make them invaluable tools in our daily lives. They can help reduce the burden of household chores, giving us more time to focus on other things. This practical application of robotics could significantly improve our quality of life and free up time for more meaningful activities. However, the development of these robots is not without controversy. The idea of creating robots that can reproduce raises a host of ethical questions. For instance, if a robot can get pregnant, does it have rights? What would be the legal status of a child born to a robot? Could robots replace human companionship, or will they simply augment it? These are questions that we will need to explore as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with robotics and AI. In a world where the line between humans and machines is being increasingly blurred, these robots represent a significant leap forward. But as we navigate this brave new world, we must ask ourselves, what does it mean to be human in an age of increasingly human-like machines? Can a relationship with a robot ever replace human companionship? What do you think about all these matters? Tell us in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time!